Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be my Halloween look, which was the second video requested, or the second video with the most votes on my poll. Um, I thought because I mentioned a couple of videos ago uh, the stitches look that I did for my Instagram, I thought I would recreate that because it's quite a simple Halloween look to do, and you can really kind of make it your own. Um, by the makeup you choose to do with it. So um, obviously I already recreated that makeup So I've done a different makeup look for this which I will show you in a second. Just very quick I'm not talking through it, but I just show you quickly kind of what products I use and kind of the look itself um, But you can really customize it because you can do if you're someone who's like a minimal makeup person You can throw that on if you like really smoky eyes You can throw that on if you like really colorful looks you can throw that on like it's really a Halloween look that you can make your own and stuff like that but yeah like I said stitches it was just really easy to do and it does look really effective and stuff like that um so I thought I'd show you in today's video I will be doing more Halloween looks but obviously I've got a few other ones I want to do first but yeah I just thought I'd kick off with this one first as it is quite a simple look and I mentioned it not too long ago so before I start the stitches I will quickly insert the clips of me doing this face quickly and then I'll be back to do the stitches Okay, so the first thing I do is I start off with a red eyeshadow. So I'm just using my Carnival Pro palette from Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. Um, I've been using this a lot for my Halloween makeup looks just because it's got a lot of colours in it. This red shade, but any red eyeshadow will do. Just on a fluffy brush, make sure I tap it off. And I'm going to use this to uh, first of all kind of map out where I want to be. So obviously underneath the lines and the stitches is going to be red. So obviously like where it kind of looks, where it possibly has been bleeding and it's sore. So that's why I'm going with the red first. So I prefer to do the shading parts first before I go in with the stitches. So I'm going to do a probably slightly different shape with the stitches this time. I'm going to have it so it goes off to this side. And then I think I'm going to do it so it also comes off 
this side. This is a slightly different shape to how I did it in my Instagram, but I wanted to make it slightly different. But you can have as many kind of like sections as you want, having the stitches go in different directions is entirely up to you. Like I said, it's quite an easy look and really is customizable. I'm then gonna go in with a slightly darker red, so for this palette it's Inferno here. I mean, it's not that much darker, but it just adds a bit more readiness to it. Okay, then I'm gonna go in more of like a purple type color. I'm gonna take the shade Reckless, which is quite a dark purple shade, on a pencil brush this time. I'm gonna deepen up the real sections of that red that I did before. Then taking my concealer brush I used earlier, not with any extra product on, whatever's left on there, I'm just going to kind of blend out the edges so it kind of looks a bit more faded into the skin. I probably would recommend if you've got liquid liners in the colours or for the stitches or face paint, I think it works better. I'm using my DFMA, well, I think it's called grease, are they grease paints? Um, but they're, uh, palette I got loads of colours on which I use from when I did my course so I'm just using that for this look but I think liquid liners like I said face paints because they dry are slightly better but um, that's all I brought with me to Glasgow so that's why I'm using that right now for the shading of the stitches I'm going to go in with quite a short shader brush I think this is Lexi Flat Definer 221 and I'm actually going to take a grey to begin with so I'm going to take Vex in this palette um, which is grey, just to kind of map out where I want the stitches. So I'm going to have some that just go across, like that, and then I'm also going to have some which will crisscross. I didn't do that very well. Yeah, so you can do a mixture and you can decide like how many of each you want to do. But I like to do a mixture of things. And like I said, because I'm doing shadows first, if I do make a mistake, I can go in with a brush and wipe it away. But this portion you don't need to be too precise because it is just the shading we're doing. And I'm purposely curving it slightly upwards as that's kind of going to give the slight 3D effect. Okay, what I'm going to do is now take the black, which is called Lights Out in this palette, on that same brush and really focus this kind of the highest point of where I put the grey, just to make that the darkest point. Okay, so now I've got this bit down, I'm going to take the same flat definer, lights out shade, which is the black, and just run this right down the centre of that red line. Okay, so I may come back and do some more shading a little bit later, just being careful, but that's kind of the shading portion, the shadow portion done. Now it's for actually putting the stitches on. So obviously at the moment I've just created the shadows to go underneath the stitches. Um, but now I put the stitches on and I'm creating the holes either side. And yeah, that's almost everything to do. So like I said, I'm using my um, DFMA colour palette. It's kind of like... I think they're like grease paints or something, um, very creamy, um, but because they're so creamy, you do need to set these, that's why I'm saying like liquid liners that dry down or 
even face paints they dry down it's just i think might be slightly easier to work with these are nice and pigmented and because i've got this i'm just using this up um so i'm going to start with the white stitches now so i need to use i actually used a paintbrush for this or if you've got like a really really thin brush use that but i just find paint brushes come much thinner than some makeup brushes so and especially when I'm using face paints anyway or stuff like that. I don't really want to use my regular makeup brushes and ruins. So like I said, I've created the shadow so it's going down. So the white wants to go right on the top section of where I put the shade in. I've kind of flattened it as well. I'm just going to do that. And like I said, you want to make sure the black is still showing through. You can kind of sort of see the 3D effect happening. It's not one that you need to be kind of make sure everything's symmetrical and stuff like that. It's a really nice one that you can just create with any look you want to and it just I think it just looks really cool I'm going to add the kind of dots on either side like where the stitches got in and out of the skin I've just got this pen eyeliner from Makeup Revolution it was quite cheap I'm just going to use that just to create the dots on those outer portions Okay, and then what I am going to do is go back with a bit more black eyeshadow on my flat to finer brush and just slightly intensify that line going down the center a bit more. That's not my flat to find. But obviously avoiding the white stitches now. And what I'm going to do is just take my pencil brush, go in with that shade Reckless, which is that purpley shade, and just ever so slightly go over it, just to bring out kind of more like the blood effect. And that is this Halloween look complete. Like I said, I want to start with this one because it's very simple, but I think it does look quite effective. You can make it your own by the makeup look you put underneath. You could even go as a character, so if you wanted to go as like a 1920s flapper, you could th stick this on to make it more Halloween-like, or a fairy, stick this on to make it a bit more Halloween-like. Um, so literally you could do any makeup, whether you're someone who's a minimal makeup person, full-on glam, drag, or you want to be a character but add this on it works for anything so um that's why i want to start off with this one because i kind of just think it's a really cool look and quite simple to do as well so um i'll definitely be doing some more halloween looks coming up obviously i want those to do those other three videos first the next one's probably the grungy look um that i'm going to do but yeah i hope you enjoyed leave any requests for features down below if there's a specific halloween look you would like me to do for you then again let me know down below but i really hope you enjoyed this um and enjoyed the kind of mini makeup section as well and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video